Hi everyone, it's Tim again. Hey, uh, some of you folks that still like to use these VTVMs or use them for other things, uh, still need to use them. Uh, I always was running into problems with these. Every time I'd get them, I'd have to search for the leads, and I didn't want to change the uh, the front connector. Kind of like leaving it the way it was, but I still wanted it to be practical. Came up with a little solution, really simple, which probably many of you have already thought about. Uh, for the DC, I left the uh, phono jack in there, and all I did was I got a phono jack here, the male end, put a BNC in the end, and inside here is a uh, one mega ohm resistor that it calls for. So I put that in there. So now I can use that and use the same leads that I was going to use right here with the BNC, or sorry, with the banana on them. Uh, so if I need it, I can take it off that and say plug it right in to do the AC. And now I did change the jack so that it uses the conventional uh, banana jacks, not the pin type banana jacks that they had. But I have the same matching jacks in all of them. And uh, for just doing the regular AC and DC and, and ohm measurements, which I really don't even use this for ohms, just makes it a lot more convenient to have it here by and be able to use the same leads without having to worry about a probe. Uh, that has the resistor built into it. So my idea was to put it up here. Uh, and then I can use this too. I have a couple. I have an ICO also and uh, another heat kit that uh, I don't use that often. I have to, actually that one I have to go through. But this one's all been redone and I've used this a couple of times. I, I might even had it in some of the videos. But uh, the last time I went to use it I had found that I had an issue with my probe and then I couldn't find the one that I updated and I was really wishing that I'd uh, done something to make it more usable so this was my solution here and uh, again like I said I can carry it over to a different a different meter that requires the resistor to be in series uh, for DC but that's that's it and uh, as you can see I got 10 volts going in there from the DC power supply and it's almost exactly at 10 volts so that works very well uh, just a little solution for you that's all I have thanks for watching